How did it get to be Tuesday, May 19th? I don't have an answer for that. I just know that I have to keep track of my days using the calendar and doing this show. So welcome to the Daily Word today. Our word for the day is thimble rig. Thimble rig. Now, I know I've done two kind of not very common words in a row. My goal for the Daily Word is to bring new words to your attention or kind of resurrect old outdated words that have been forgotten and bring them back into our vocabulary or take words that you're very familiar with and maybe present a new perspective. But thimble rig, you probably didn't have but I'm sure you know what it is. A thimble rig is kind of a con game. You know the shell game where they put three shells and you have to find where the little P is under the shell and it changes, etc. That is a thimble rig. It is also primarily used in political terms when something is being kind of put over on someone watching or participating. That is a thimble rig. And In my humble opinion, without getting too political, I think we've been having a whole bunch of those lately. A lot of thimble rigs. And therefore, it is up to each of us, you and me and our friends and family, to do what we can to stay informed. To not just immediately panic when we read something in the news, hear it on television, or see it in social media, but to check it out. To, again, check the veracity of the source and then make conscious choices on our own. For example, today, here in Santa Fe, excuse me, we had huge, powerful windstorms. And normally when I take my walk around the neighborhood in on the trails, I don't wear a mask. I wear a mask when I go into public, into stores, in commerce situations. I usually even wear gloves. But I don't wear a mask on the walks. Well, today the winds were so fierce, I decided I would wear a mask because I knew that if anyone had preceded me down the trail, coughed and sneezed and might be asymptomatic, the winds were gonna blow it in my direction. Now that may presume to be a little overcautious, but that's my choice. I'm taking the information that I have, that I research, that I read constantly, much like all of you and then make my choices so that when the shell game is played with sound bites from political leaders or even broadcasters, I know that I am informed and making conscientious, conscious choices for my health and well-being and therefore for all of you. So I'm going to just close with a little quote that someone had posted online with no attribution, so I apologize if someone did write this, and I don't know your name. I really like it. Make sure you test positive for faith. Keep distance from doubt and isolate from fear. Trust God, spirit, higher power through it all. I think if we can follow that advice, nobody is going to play a shell game on us. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I have a special episode plan for tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay sane, stay you.